welcome back to the Swindon Lot, episode 15, are we now? 15, my word, we're flying through this. Uh, so, back again, and I'll bring you the highlights in a moment. Leeds uh, is coming after the highlights, but first of all, let's go straight into the game. So, uh, a 3-1 win against Bristol City. Uh, Mason is coming good for us. Uh, he doesn't score the first, that's Bikey, our defender, pops it in. But Mason's finally coming good. Uh, he's not been our top performer, not in the same extent that Craig Tanner was. Uh, Enriquez is, as you can see from the right-hand side there, Enriquez has been... A wonder boy. Uh, 41 goals for the whole team, 35 conceded. And we're currently lying in fourth place with 39 points. At the, uh, in the last episode, we had 19 points. So since we last met, we have played a fair few games, about a 20 point increase, and we're in amongst it. Uh, our form's been really indifferent. It's a bit frustrating, really, because I'm not sure how we're going to do. I'm a bit, I don't know. We, we, we've got good playoff form, but we haven't got automatic pl uh, promotion form. And I guess the playoffs was the aim at the start of the season, so that's no disgrace. Uh, moving on to the Brighton game, another 2-1 victory. Uh, we, we've won five times, I think, since we last met. We've lost a few and drawn a couple. Um, but I'm going to show you four of the wins. Uh, Bonner gets the first one. You're all telling me how to say his name, and I should just learn. But I'm going with Bonner because I just quite like Bonner. If that's all right with everyone. Sorry, I'm just breaking all the rules. Um, and then they scored immediately after half-time, and then a minute later... Uh, we scored Bonner getting his second of the game uh, to get us through 2-1 and I thought it was going to be a goal fest in the second half but that was it uh, we dominated the game against Charlton this was another 2-1 victory uh, Ryan Mason getting the first reacts well from a rebound and that that's comes from him playing shadow striker really uh, you play him in that position and he'll be on those rebound type efforts uh, an awful lot they get a goal back uh, Tuslin I think that's how you say it uh, from close range our defending at times and goalkeeping is questionable uh, but Cameron McGee and Norwich youth product Bangs in a free kick. Uh, I, don't, I didn't actually set him to be on free kicks. I don't know why he took it. I guess our regular free kick takers were not on the pitch. And then finally, a 3-1 uh, win against Preston. Bonner gets the first. Uh, he's in a load of space. Takes on the keeper. Rounds him if you want. And pops it into the net. And then we did have one really crazy game. It was a 4-4. And you might think, why aren't you showing me the highlights of that? Uh, I will show you what happened in it. It's just eight goals in a highlights package. There's a lot of goals for a highlights package, as I found out doing the ABC save. Um, but I will show you that. Uh, we get the third, of the third goal of the game. Yep, penalty from Bonner again. In the highlights section, it looks like he's scored most of our goals, but Enriquez has definitely been the man of this moment. Uh, and then finally, another goal from close range. And there, it was all said and done. Uh, so I'll see you in a moment for the Leeds match. So here we are, game day and uh, Leeds United. But what we're going to start with is the 4-4 I mentioned against Watford. As you can see, we were 4-1 down uh, with eight minutes to go. And Enrique has got an 82. Two goals in the 82nd minute. Two goals, I'll repeat that, two goals in the 82nd minute. And an 88th minute winner. Well, not a winner, but it felt like a winner. You know when you, you celebrate a draw like it's a win. I don't want to say it was a smash and grab. But as you can see, they kind of dominated us in terms of shots. We did have more possession, but we had quite a few kickoffs to deal with in that first half. Um, they had seven clear cut chances of four half chances, whereas we just had two half chances without a single clear cut chance. Uh, so our boy Andro Henriquez, Angelo Henriquez, has been just outstanding for us, and uh, I couldn't be pl more pleased with him. So let's have a look at the league table uh, before we go any further with this. So there we are, lying in fourth place, uh, Derby, Aston Villa, Sheffield Wednesday, all above, above us, although we are level on points, Sheffield Wednesday, uh, Bolton, Blackburn, Burnley, not too far behind. So, as I mentioned, our form, if you look at it sort of all in one, it doesn't look spectacular, does it? We had a very good start uh, after the Fulham game, and then since then, especially in recent times, when you look at it like that, you, uh, I didn't really think about it like this, but we've had two wins in our last seven matches, which frankly is not good enough, uh, losing three of them during the other two. So we're going to the Leeds game. Obviously, last time we beat them, they were horrible people. Let's see if they've improved their moods uh, since last time. We're sticking with the, the uh, diamond formation. I went back to it last game when we beat Preston. But I have been fiddling around a little bit, and it's not been working. Uh, so I'm going, going to go back to what I know, and hopefully the uh, the strike force of Bonner and Enriquez up top can keep us, you know, ever-present in the league and in this match in particular. So obviously, we're looking for a bit of redemption. Um, not any major standout names in this team. I guess Luna and... Samras are the two to take note of. Thomas Bianchi as well in there. So they've got some quality in there. Uh, it's going to be up to us to make sure we shut them down. Uh, so the pressure's off, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to let them know that, like, come on. Okay, well, I didn't say it for that one. <laughs> and striking-wise, uh, there's a lot more to come from you. Also, I want to change quick instruction. I quite like to play our defence. We seem to kick it long too often. And I did remind myself pre-game uh, to sort that out. Oh, quite a nice green pitch. Even though it's raining, even in 3D, it's looking pretty nice. So, can we get the win we're after? We're starting standard fluid. Uh, you had a little brief look at my instructions there. And we're at home against Leeds. Our, our squad has definitely improved since we played them last. Um, so hopefully, uh, well, that's evident from where we are in the league. But I want to be able to beat them. Put the ghost of last season to bed. 
and move on from this because I've still got it. It's in the back of my mind that defeat to Leeds. We could have had a playoff spot and we blew it last season. Spoiler alert. Um, but this first half has been action packed. Okay, a chance. Thompson on the right hand side. Great to have him back this year. And um, I mentioned last year how he missed his assists. This year, what's happened there? He saved it. And I mentioned last season how we missed Thompson's assist from the right-hand side. I'd be interested to know, actually, how many he's got this season, because I bet it's a fair few. Comes out to Enriquez on the volley, hits it first time. Uh, they managed to block it, and if we can recycle the possession, we've got Mason out here on the right-hand side, whips the ball in. Uh, Luongo, McCann from distance. Oh, and they closed the highlight off, just as it was starting in my eyes. Uh, so at half-time, I always say, if you're, a, if you're at the half of the draw, um, there's plenty to do in the second half, and you're well in the game, if that's the case. Now, I'm going to tell them they're performing well. I'm not too disappointed. Like Leeds are, like I say, they've got some good technical players, but we should be better. We should have the best of them. Uh, our overlapping wing backs will be the key in the second half. If they start to tire, then our attack tends to tire. Uh, but Thompson, our right back, does very, very well indeed to win that back early on, setting the precedent. Uh, Luongo's picked up a little bit. Well, I don't know if he's picked up a knock so much, but he was struggling for a little bit of fitness there. And this has been the least action-packed game of all time. Okay, Leeds have a throw-in. Uh, we may switch to counter or attacking depending on how this goes. I think if they come close. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, good knockdown. He's very tall, is Bonner. And Enriquez, not the paciest, but if he gets away from these defenders and gets into the box, you've always got a chance as he moves his way in. And a surely penalty kick. I would agree with that statement. I would definitely agree with it. And Bonner, I don't think he's missed a penalty for me yet. We seem to get a lot of penalties in life comes. Maybe we are the, the Liverpool of the championship with the amount of penalties we get and Bonner high into the top right hand corner of the net celebrates in style too look at that he's loving it my word too much if anything um, yeah 1-0 against the Leeds against the horrible people I know they're called dirty Leeds but I'm going with horrible people we sit again in slow motion steps up keeper guesses the right way um, but the penalty is just too good and I think that's maybe 4-4 four four penalties scored for Swindon and he certainly got his fair few Enriquez wins it and then Bonner puts it in so that, that's kind of the, the little partnership they've got going on uh, so 70 minutes gone we are just going to have a quick look at the team make sure everything's okay uh, if we can make changes we may well do I think Diakite for McGeehan might be a, a smart change obviously he's on a yellow card don't want to lose him through injury uh, aside from that I'm quite happy fitness wise we're looking okay performance wise we're fine no one's having a shocker no one's standing out yet though uh, so we'll change it up a tad may well go defensive uh, if needs be in the second half so we go again waiting for the next highlight will we get it and time is ticking so for the last few moments of the game maybe a risk we will go to the defense if we will waste time coming out of here with a 1-0 win uh, it's certainly going to be a shorter episode this because the game has flown by so quickly but once again oh don't be like this to me <gasps> okay and it's cleared and that's the ghost of last season gone the horrible people have been dealt with um, the, uh, that's a win for the good guys as far as, far as I'm concerned uh, the next episode I bring you will probably be oh we've dominated the game there will probably be the transfer special um, we're coming to January once again a big January as well we've got some big games running up uh, to the January I'll probably bring you those at the start of the transfer special obviously we've got uh, Fulham, Derby, Swansea, Bournemouth well okay maybe not Bournemouth but Swansea, Fulham, Derby a couple of big fixtures in there um, Derby especially I think they're, are they still top of the table? Well, they're up there. I think that's important to know. And Swansea are pushing once again. Uh, so I'll bring the highlights from those videos next time round. Nice to see Enriquez with nine assists. Some, not something I've mentioned before. I bet you win so many penalties, it's hardly surprising. So yeah, next game, uh, well, the next episode will be a transfer special. And that's when I'll see you next. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. It's worth it. It's free right now. So uh, get on that before you know the prices go up. Uh, so from me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.